Now the treader, I like it. I, li I like the angle of it. We are talking about a version of Dune. A version of Dune where Paul is having a new vision. A vision of a alternative life, an alternative storyline. A little bit like Loki and Marvel and all the strands, you know, of the multiverse blending together. Well, this time Paul has a, has a vision of what could have been the story of Dune. You see that it's branching into different pathways. Um, uh, a different vision if actually his mother would have given birth to a daughter as the Bene Gesserit would have required. What would it have? What would have been the application of this? Paul would have never been born, so we would have risen against the Arconans. We would have helped the uh, rise of the Freemen. We will have helped the protection of the spice melange. Well, this is where you you actually come in. Uh, you are you are the gifted one. You are the one on which uh, you know the future of Arrakis is um, relying on. Is it a sentence? I don't know. Yes, I think it is. Anyway, you are the hero of that new tale, a tale where Paula traded doesn't exist, but where you, as a player, can come and actually build your house. You can be from a different, complete different house. You can come from a different background. You can have also a mentor that will give you special skills and abilities, and you will take the place of Paul in that open world. To summarize briefly, right? Big, large, open world uh, game experience, multiplayer experiences, but the world is sectioned into different type of environments, and those environments are server dependent. You can do PvP, uh, you can make alliances and trades, and the rest of it is very elusive on game dynamics, on game mechanics. It's very elusive on the calendar of events that they will throw at players in there, and um, even how much um, planning ahead they are scheduling. I mean, how much, how much ahead they are on the sustainability of the game and how um, enticing is going to be for players moving forward. Server saturation can be a problem, not only server saturation of the game, but also the server saturation of your area, which can be another issue. Uh, and access to uh, next-gen console or very robust PC to run the game, which will leave a lot of people out of that experience, at least for a a little while. Whilst you stay in the tranche of the genre or, and the, the IP, you need to bring something on the table. And I am not sure yet what it is, um, but we'll see. Let's uh, let's let's be hopeful. Let's be surprised. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do another kind of look at June after launch and, and try to get a little bit my head around it. But really ambitious stuff. Clearly, it's. A one of a kind kind of game, both in its definition and the way it's going to operate. It can open the door to a lot of other formats around this kind of structure. Sorry. And uh, I'm sure both the fans of the genre of MMO games and the franchise will, will have a great time. I'm excited to hear what you what you think and if you will play Dune Awakening. Uh, again, I'm really open to the experience. Uh, I will need some help or some, maybe somebody to. Uh, to loan me some gear but uh yeah that sounds great and and uh it's, it won't be without challenges here we go <laughs> that's my little uh segment on dune awakening <laughs>